What is good? Diamond Knight is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. As you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be reacting to today, man. Make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the angel, my brother. Tell the uncle Joey Stella. Let's get right into the video, man. Shout out to The Voice. We're going to be reacting to her video. I don't know what the hell is going on like in this picture right here, but let's get into it, man. It looks like they might be on a boat or something. I could be wrong. Let's get into it. That this year he's having twins. I'm you trying to have more kids? Bro. Yeah, I'm having twins this year. You having twins, bro? This year, yeah. Hey. You having twins? You having twins? You wait. Hey, you trying to have a, two boys, two girls, or a boy and a girl? Well, one my plan in my head is this recent. Right, right. When did he? When, when did this come out? It is going. I, you know, I'm 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 imagining some twins. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Your boy got a big imagination. Mm -hmm, bro. <laughs> I ain't planning for twins though. Fuck. That's a lot. Twins. Mm -hmm. So what's we okay? So boom, we got an album coming in two to three days, and then tour coming, and then the twins got you in, and then Anne Marie retweeted, and she said definitely taking a break and starting a family after the tour. So congratulations to them, y'all. Leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking. When okay, so they actually having twins for real. Okay, try. When it comes to that. In my huh? previous video, Rosie announced that she's taking all the kids with her to Funny Mike's. I know she ain't got no face tag. I'm um, in Houston, and CJ so cool responded, and here's what he had to say about his twins going along. Listen, we're not worried about the other side. Listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> the other side. What the fuck? The How childish. Every time I turn around, nigga, it's just like a fucking circus when it comes to see. Every time I see this nigga, bro, it's like clown energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean the other side, fam? Listen, we're not worried about the other side. Listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> this nigga. What they do with their body don't concern us. Do it. The other side. <laughs> We're not really I'm with you, Lexi. I'm with you. What the fuck is the other side, my nigga? Caring about the other side. Oh, I'm just gonna let y'all know, real talk. We don't really care about the other side. They can do what they want to do. That's them. Look, we doing what we do. Y'all can see clear as day. Who really win it? I mean, it's no competition, but I mean, I mean, we the winning side. You know what I'm saying? I'm to go play a soccer they can do what they We're all like little kids, y'all. At a fucking um. Jungle gym. They want what they buy. That's them. They want to be retarded. That's them. They want to be dumb. That's them. Go ahead, lose your soul, man. We don't give a. I literally feel like CJ royalty. This whole situation, it just is a concoction of just. I really think that they're actors at this point. Like, they cannot be this fucking childish. I cannot accept the fact that we have grown ass people that act this way. Now, I know that there's a lot of grown-ass people that may act this way. But some, I just don't want to accept the fact that CJ, royalty, everybody he's affiliated with in his little circle, it's just hard, right, for me to accept the fact that this, this is how these niggas really are. If this is how these niggas really are, and this is not just for entertainment, y'all, this is sad. This is super sad, man. You know? Like, no, I mean, <laughs> we don't care. I really never Super lost sad, a, bro. a day of sleep, never. I mean, I never lost an ounce of sleep. So you do what you want to do with your body. Your <laughs> body. <laughs> My body, your we body. on this side. Look, me and Lexi win it. We never lost a day, never. Yes, we I never lost a day. So we do what we want to do. Royalty revealed that she got a face tattoo and his when you look dumb her nation's reaction. All right, if y'all see me on my Instagram, y'all, I told y'all, don't get mad if y'all see me with a face. You look crazy as fuck, all right? And I'm not judging her. I'm just telling y'all my opinion. She looks fucking nuts with this fucking face tattoo, bruh. Now you just messed up your whole fucking, you know, like your whole face card is fucked. <laughs> I know that sounds very vicious. But I have to keep it real with y'all. Comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel. Some of y'all probably like, oh, it's cute. I like it. Shit's trash, all right? It's trash. Why would you mess up that beautiful face? With that fucking fucked up tattoo, man. That shit just pissed me off. <laughs> but it ain't my face. So it is what it is. But if y'all ask me, I don't know why the fuck she did that shit. I have no idea. It's that, y'all. Like, don't get <laughs> mad. Like, no idea. Y'all, I, I, think, I think she's really stupid. I mean, this is... What, what'd she say? You really stupid? Shout out to you, girl. At least, like, the kids got more sense than the, um, the parents. This is something I would expect one of her kids to go do, bruh. Like, come on, man. Y'all, I, 
I think I think she's really stupid for doing that. What? I'm so glad, girl. At least we got some type of voice of reason in the household. It's my face, Nation. Just don't, just don't copy me. Okay? It is your face. It is your face. Right. You know, do what you want, but that looks crazy. Someone said in the comments, I'm glad Nation is honest about everything. Facts. I think she could have picked a better spot than her face. And you know what? I'm glad. I'm going to say this, you know? I don't agree with, you know, everything that royalty does or CJ does, but I'm glad that they allow their kid to voice their opinion without like slamming them down or making them feel like they can't say what they want to say you know of course there is a line that is drawn in the sand to where no don't curse at me don't disrespect me and things of that nature but her saying that you look ridiculous i think that that's totally okay and i'm glad that royalty allows her kids to have like a say that's dope comments, i'm glad nation is honest about well, well not a say but could voice their opinion without like saying no don't say that or whatever you know i think she could have that's important a spot than her face the face tattoo is a no for me i agree with nation 100 it was stupid but i'm still gonna watch the vlogs hope that face tattoo is fake she is really losing herself why would she mess up her face Bruh. like that shaking my head y'all leave y'all comments down below when it comes to that you ain't never gonna see me with no fucking uh face tat i know they always say never say never i will never touch my face in that type of way you got me fucked up bro just to look like the next nigga no nigga. let's talk about kai because in my previous video i no, showed y'all his reaction to look at this nigga he is stupid as hell look at this nigga bro the twitch sending him bedazzled sneakers for achieving number one <laughs> streamer <laughs> on twitch now let's talk about lindacia because yesterday she was on live and her lead boo thing was also on live and they both revealed that they no longer dating messing around talking whatever they want to call it but they not together may god continue to bless them dealing with a young girl that's what comes with it you're right you're right you're right i was was dealing with a young girl i was dealing with a young girl past tense i don't deal with that person no so basically lindasia saying she been single you know ever since her and ray ended what they had going on right but she sure was in the kitchen cooking something that she wasn't doing for Ray. So, you know, she was on her way. Seemed like she was on her way to something else. But for some reason, you know, I don't know if old dude was like, man, she too young or she just not my flavor or I don't know what it was. But something leads me to believe that he wasn't really feeling her like that. Right. So here we are. I don't hop into a relationship after I get out of money. I don't do that shit. I'm too much play your play. Y'all gotta know that. Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Yeah, your play ass was in the kitchen cooking for that man. I don't happen to a relationship. Fuck out of here. Out of I don't do that shit. <laughs> I'm too much play your play. Y'all gotta know that. Fuck out of here. Yeah, your play ass was in the kitchen cooking for that man. I don't happen to a relationship. Fuck out of here. I'm too much play your play. Y'all gotta know that. We don't know that. You don't know that. You made a best win. You made a best win. I thought you was Christian. I am not no Christian. Yeah, she does kind of look like Christian. Y'all, I was on my live. Like, yeah, y'all still talking about me. Like, y'all still watching me. Yeah. And you better be grateful the niggas are still watching you. You know what I'm saying? And this shit blow me every time that niggas like they be getting so mad when people have something to say. But first of all, you fucking plaster your whole fucking life on the internet, right? You have public relations with people, and then you speak on those public relations about people or or, or to the people in front of people, right? And then you get upset when niggas have shit to say about what you spoke on. And then think that that shit's supposed to disappear as soon as you want it to, right? So, look, if you want the attention, you're going to have to take the good with the bad, my nigga, you know? It's going to come with the good and the bad. That's what comes with being in the spotlight and putting all your fucking business on Front Street. That's not what we're supposed to be doing anyway. Real niggas don't put their business on Front Street. Facts, right? So, with that being said, I don't understand, once again... Why niggas come on here on live or come on social media in general and get upset at people's opinions when you plaster your fucking life on the internet for, pe for people to comment on, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? And make content and make videos to give the people what they want and then get upset when the people got something to say. 
There's two sides of a coin. It's a heads and tails. It's a negative and positive, a light and a dark, right? A day and a motherfucking night. You can't have one without the other. So if you want to do this social media shit, bro, you got to take the good with the motherfucking bad. It is what it is. Yeah, stay watching my videos. Y'all just stay watching me. I don't give a fuck shit. I don't have to do shit for nothing. Don't, don't worry about nothing. I make money because of me. I don't listen to YouTube. I don't, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, man, all that shit them people got coming at me behind a female or uh, behind a person she used to deal with. Mm. Man, say, bro, Lord have mercy. And that ain't the reason why nothing happened between me and that. Right. You know? I didn't think so. She went her way, I went my way. Life goes on. Uh huh. I had a boo. Like, y'all kept doing this because I really do have a boo for real, for real. And my boo don't even play that shit. I don't play that shit either. I've been coming out here to talk to y'all because I. This girl got a boo every week, huh? Love y'all. Because I love y'all for real, for real, and you know what I mean. Like I don't, I don't do nothing. Right. Like I said, I didn't think that Deja was ready to like take anybody serious. Anyway, go live your life, go enjoy yourself. You know, like that's what you're supposed to be doing right now. I just stay to myself, and I be myself. I be trying to stay after these blog pages, but every time I check these blog pages, that's something I said about me. So. Yeah, you better be grateful because the minute the blog page stop talking about you, you're irrelevant. All right, and you're gonna be doing everything possible to get relevant again. So, hey, I'm on these blog pages. <laughs> no, me and Prom don't talk. Prayers go out to Clarence, he's currently in the hospital due to food That's poisoning. Tough. Send him lots of love. Y'all leave y'all comments was down eating below. Too good, man. Until next time, peace. Oh, hey, man, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. Really good video about a voice. Hey, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. But I do know that, you know, this whole Lando and Deja situation, I didn't expect it to last too long. You could tell that Lando was just having fun. He really wasn't trying to take Deja that serious, you know. And it seemed like Deja really liked him, you know. It seemed like Deja was switching up for him and trying to do the wifely duties that she wasn't doing for Ray. So let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. Do you guys think that they're going to link back up? Or do you guys think that this situation is pretty much dead? I don't know. Ain't no telling, man. I know that Lando was not really used to the social media lifestyle and all of that. Maybe that was too much. Relationship being under, 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 under scrutiny, you know, for the first stages, the beginning stages of what they were trying to build, I guess. Or maybe they weren't even trying to build shit. Maybe they were just having fun fucking around but we could all see that Deja's energy was way different fucking with this nigga compared to what we saw in her last relationship but anyway guys let me know how y'all feel like comment subscribe all of that make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend and tell they ain't your mama tell they uncle joe he's still a hoe i will see you guys in the next motherfucking video and i love y'all man peace we out baby